One shot from today, you know, I was a little ago. So Briscoe said that Cal... You look really comfortable and happy. Yeah, I know. Um, I was comfortable from the start of the game, you know. Everybody had a good vibe, you know. We were just trying to play loose out there today. Rob Harris said he knows within the first five minutes of every game if you're going to have a big game. What does he see? And does he tell you? I don't know. I guess I need to talk to him and ask him what he sees so I can do it every game. Was there something about you guys being healthy and all that? You look rested. I mean, we've had a lot of games in the world, but you all look yeah. rested and comfortable. And confident. Yeah, you know, um, we've had injuries all throughout the year, you know, we're not using it as excuses, you know, next man up, you know, but just one of the games where we had everybody healthy, everybody clicking, you know, scouts playing better, Marcus is rebounding, flying the court, you know, Dom's actually healthy, you know, his ankle's actually throwing 100%, uh, Derek's back with us, you know, just everybody, you know, just uh, throwing better out there. When did you decide to pull that arrow? After I was staring at Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about Alabama game? that brings out the best in you? I don't know, man. Um, you know, I just try to try to play, play confident, and play to my strengths. Briscoe said that Cal has told you before every one of these Alabama games they don't have a guy on the team that can check you. Do, do you recognize that? And also, it seems like you believe that and play that way. And how important is it to to keep that mentality regardless of a point? Yeah, yeah. Um, from the start, you got to have a mentality each and every game. You know. They was trying to double me at first, you know, you know, but I didn't let that get me on my rhythm, you know. I just tried to play through it. Winning the first game, how important is that in terms of setting a tone for confidence? Because everybody says the first game's game. It is, you know. That's the first game, you know, especially you know after the team that played yesterday. You know, you might come out sluggish. You know, you've had a week off. You know, you might take it too light, or throwing it too lightly. You know, I, well, I feel like we did a great job of uh, coming in and competing really hard. You know, and now now that we understand how hard we got to play to win games, you know, we're gonna carry on until. Tomorrow. Alex, the whole season it's been can, can Jamal and Tyler carry this team? Can the other guys in the front court, you know, help? Today, for I think the first 14 minutes, those guys had two points, and yet you guys were leading. It, was this one of those days you, you recognized that um, they didn't have it and early anyway, um, and that you had to do something extra? You no, know, with me telling Jamal, I was going to have, you know, because they're just great players, you know, but we feel like everybody on this team is, can score confidently. You know, Marcus Cowell in the post, there can shoot, Don can hit open shots, you know. Isaiah could drive, so it's like it's not just them two, you know. We try to be defined as more of a team than them two, but they're, I mean, they lead us. Those are our two leading scorers. Um, they make us run. Uh, they generate offense for the most part. How big was that then? You know, like I said, 14 minutes they didn't give you really anything. Yeah, that the rest of you guys were able. It was to. it was big. It just shows that I mean we can do it, and um, that uh, everybody on this team can uh, step up. We need to. If they're having an off night, then we can't that use that as excuse of why we lost or anything like that. Yeah, you know, we're doing more things, different things offensively, you know, getting more players opportunities to score in positions, you know, so we are getting a lot more balance scoring. Alex, I'm sorry, I didn't hear if you already answered this. When you took a look at the bow and arrow, what kind of prompted you tonight to do that? Um, I was just staring at Jamal. He was just laughing at me, so I was like, whatever, I'll do it real quick. <laughs> Alex, did you, Alex did, you not, did you not like Alabama growing up? No, I actually didn't like Alabama growing up. Um, so what is it about Alabama? You kill them. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I mean, I guess it's the lead test, you know, but, you know, I just try to come out and compete every day. <laughs> Did you, you guys, I mean, obviously every year you do this, but now you guys got a lot of guys that have never played in the postseason before. Did you did you set some jitters maybe at the beginning that you guys had to work out? Maybe a little bit, you know, but now that uh, after the game went on, people realize how hard you got to play, um, how you got to compete. You know, we're up five minutes, you know, you still got to compete until the end. But, you know, anything can happen. It's a uh, March Madness, anything can happen. Just, you know, so you just got to come fired up from start to finish for four minutes. What Alabama players did you like? When you, uh, I heard you right. You said you kind of liked Alabama. No, I like, I like I like the state. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I say it said Rob. Rob knows when you're going to be hot. What talk about that? Uh, I guess I got to talk to Rob about that. I ain't know he said. <laughs> Marcus said Lee said that when you did this, it was something about a helmet during practice. But I don't remember you doing that in a game before. Yeah, I know. Um, there's a couple of helping today. Helmets today. Uh, Jamal had one. Uh, Derek had one. And all just yeah. signaling, it, saying they got dunked on. You've been shooting well in practice. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been hitting shots in practice. Been confident. You know, we do a lot of shooting. The guards do a lot of shooting. We do a lot of shooting in our in our drill work, our skill work too. You know, so I was just confident with it.
How much do when that first one goes in, how much does that give you confidence? I mean, it's great, you know, especially when you hold your follow through it and perfect your shot, perfect your crash, you know, when you do that, then your confidence just builds upon from there and there. Tyler was saying that a lot of those threes came off your guys' defense. You were getting them in transition. <coughs> yeah. You were able to get open shots off that. How important is that? Our defense jumped off the offense. You know, we're a defensive team. What up, Chief? We're a defensive team, and um, we want to do anything get in transition and everything like that. We got to get stopped from defense. Obviously, you're, you're a confident shooter, but did you even see a night like this coming where you just red hot like that? Out I mean, yeah, I did. I mean, I was shooting, so. <laughs> No, but no, I'm just confident, you know, uh, I was hitting the shots, you know, holding my ball through, everything like that. I know typically you want to um, not be distracted on the court, but I know you were smiling, the band or somebody was yelling at you. Oh, yeah. But what did they say or did you hear them? I, I didn't really notice them until like the last three minutes and I was really picking it up. But, you know, it's just people. I mean, yeah. that happens all in the road games. You know, somebody's always screaming and yelling. So. I think you're I mean, actually I'm sorry, I, th I thought you actually converted a Georgia fan, or that was their van. That oh, was, I guess so, but I don't know. But uh, <laughs> fans happen like that on the road all the time, so that doesn't phase us. I, I think they think it does, but it really doesn't. You know, we face that every year. Especially when there's only two of them and yeah, everybody no, else is behind yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> if they want to be the loudest in the gym, so be it. You know, that doesn't phase any of us. What do you think about Dom coming in the first half? You guys are Play great. You know, uh, Dom, that, another guard, you know, because our three guard can't play 40 minutes every game. So we need somebody to step up and uh, give him a reliever from time to time. And Dom does say, you know, brings great energy on defense. You know, he can hit open shots. You know, he's confident with the shooting. So we need Dom if you want to make a long run. You probably already answered it. What, what got into you? Did you just kind of notice that, you know, it was it was tough and, and kind of slow going early on? And once you hit a couple of threes, man, it seemed like stuff started clicking. And, you know, all of a sudden they have to respect you outside too. That's just what the defense was giving us. You know, um, they were um, – they were doubling me in the post, you know, crowding the lanes. You know, we just had to kick it out the shooters. You know, I had an open shot the first time, and I hit it and just went on from there.